And I might die here. Oh, come on, pure vanilla. Hey guys, what is up? This is Hyrule once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cookie Run Kingdom. Today, I'm going to be doing another playthrough of World 9. I actually beat some of the stages uh, when I was actually off screen, and I just wanted to see how far I can get. But of course, I wanted to share this uh, video content with you guys and show you guys how my team's doing and how things are working for me when I'm clearing World 9. So anyways, guys, if this video is helpful for you guys and you guys enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and leave a comment down below on how you guys are doing and what stage you are currently in in cookie run kingdom anyways guys with all that out of the way let's get right into the video all right guys here we go so last time i actually ended at 9 17 and it was actually a really easy clear i went on and did uh 9 uh, 18 and 19 as well and uh, I am currently going to do 920 so something that has changed ever since I actually pulled a lot more uh, and I actually was able to promote uh, my pastry cookie into five stars I got super lucky if you guys saw my last video I actually pulled uh, two pastries as well uh, in a row and I was able to promote her into four star and then I actually went on and did some more pulls and bam I am currently at five stars and I actually leveled her up all the way up to 50 along with her skills and her toppings are actually maxed now at plus 12 so she is currently the strongest cookie that I have in my team and right behind her is going to be latte cookie also plus 12 on all her toppings and uh, full promotion but at level 47 and then everything else uh, nothing really changed except for strawberry crepe I actually leveled her, uh, him up to 46 along with his skill and then uh, I have switched out his topping uh, from hard walnut into solid almond so that is actually uh, those are actually the uh, changes that has occurred in my team ever since the last video. So I am going to be uh, using this team here, uh, pa uh, pastry cookie, pure vanilla, licorice, latte, and strawberry cream to uh, see how far I go. So uh, if you guys have any questions regarding uh, team comp, I will do my best to give you the best advice that I can give uh, from personal experience. So, um, you know, if you guys have any question, please uh, leave it down in the comment below. Or if you guys would like to, you guys can also join my Discord channel and you guys can post videos, uh, screenshots or anything like that in, and ask uh, more in-depth questions uh, that you, you know, might not want to ask in YouTube comments, whichever one you would like to do. That's fine with me. Anyways, guys, so here we go, um, you know pastry doing a bunch of uh, damage now being at level 50 and also at full promotion and also latte at full promotion level 47 uh, she's going to be doing a bunch of damage with her uh, abilities so um, you know this team right here is actually probably going to be my best team uh, especially for world exploration it's kind of made for world exploration that I actually use for arena as well um, so right here easy clear uh, no you know real danger for me uh, and let's just kind of see the damage uh, output here so you guys can see oh wow licorice actually did a lot more damage than pastry so um, there are going to be times when pastry actually does a uh, less damage than licorice licorice is a great cookie especially for world exploration in my opinion uh, not only that uh, he or she is going to uh, be a very helpful addition to your team for guild boss battle and arena if you don't have uh, you know uh, a real good tank but you know most of the times almost all the players nowadays have either dark choco or strawberry crepes so you know uh, licorice is just a small addition to that and a small, small bonus really in my opinion um, so here we go uh, once again uh, these actually those uh, vanilla shooters were actually a uh, real big danger to my team but now that I have strawberry crepe and uh, using swift chocolate for uh, pure vanilla 
along with pastry doing a bunch of damage. Whoa, actually this is very close. Um, I think I should be okay, but I don't want to speak too soon and uh, you know have my cookies die while I am trying to boast about my team. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> that was actually really cl uh, close to it uh, earlier so you know uh, this team is not perfect there are a lot of uh, different builds out there that can help and uh, that actually might work better than my team but you know it's just this is what I like to do uh, and what I the cookies that I like to use for my team so you know uh, I can only speak from experience uh, this game AXP is really hard to get so it's really important to you know use the resources that are given to you the limited amount of resources that are given to you uh, you know in a way that you won't regret it later on and when I use my resources on these certain cookies I did not regret it at all so you know here we go so uh, this is the statue of pure vanilla in vanilla kingdom so here we go with her cookie talking. Um, this is actually a lot, so. Wow. Yeah. Sad thing is that Wizard Cookie actually sucks so much. <laughs> It's funny when uh, the basic cookies are out in the story trying to, you know, do all these crazy things, but in the end, they never get used. Except maybe Ginger Brave and Custard. Yep. Whoa, okay, so Pure Vanilla statue uh, crumbled and now is actually flying at the real Pure Vanilla. And Black. Black Raisin is back, huh? Uh-oh, here we go. Alright, so two... Onwards. And here we go, nice reward here. 500, actually two magic cookie cutters as well so here we go uh, my power level is currently at 280,000 guys just keep that in mind and the enemy is only at 150,000 but sometimes I almost get wrecked by these guys sadly so alright here we go so um, something that I you know there are the reason why I keep Licorice in my team other than uh, rather than other cookies is because his or her servant actually allows some of the uh, so right here this swordsman right here the, the brown one when that enemy actually hits my cookie they go flying and I'm sure you guys have would have seen uh, that happen or when I uh, in my previous videos so However, uh, when I use Licorice's uh, servants to tank for me, they actually don't go flying. So it actually helps my cookies uh, from going flying and not being able to deal damage to them. So Licorice is just, you know, a great sub tank in my opinion, as well as a sub DPS. So fills that role really nicely. Alright, so now we have this uh, dark version or the chocolate version of the uh, dragoon looking thing and i might die here oh come on pure vanilla oh clutch heal right there oh man that was close that was real close that was real close all right but you know 922 was a clear here so here we go again um damage output uh latte at one million and uh, right behind her is going to be pastry cookie with 973,000. So um, the really the longer the battle goes on for and more mobs or more enemies there are, uh, pastry cookie shines during that time. So all right, so here we go 923. 
Um, I am very close uh, in actually meeting Strawberry Crepe Cookie. Uh, 9.30 is where I believe I am going to be facing uh, Strawberry Crepe. So we'll see how, um, you know, how I do against Strawberry Crepe with Strawberry Crepe in my team. So there we go. Um, so uh, I'm just, I'm just really worried about uh, the World 10, really, because I heard World 10, it gets really hard and, you know, I don't know if my cookies are going to be strong enough. I am going to, you know, start investing more into Vampire Cookie because, you know, Vampire Cookie is, in my opinion, probably one of the best cookies to use against a boss. So, yes, um, Vampire Cookie does a bunch of damage, but it is only single target. So, in stages like this, um, you know, there are, I think, better options. But when it comes to boss battles, of course, Vampire Cookie, you know, is probably going to be the, or if not, the number one uh, cookie for anybody to use uh, against a big mob or a big, you know, um, boss battle, especially guild boss battles. So here we go. Uh, 923. It seems like it's gonna be a nice and easy clear as well. So uh, pretty good right there. All right. So I don't want to make this video too long as well. Again, it's already uh, probably like 11 minutes past. So okay, and beating all these quests, and we are back at the village. And the villager. Alright, so now Black Raisin is trying to come back and wow. Finally, my kingdom level has leveled up. <laughs> oh man, I was stuck at that level for so long. Here we go, 924 guys. I'm gonna try to beat this one and then end the video. Hopefully it's, um, you know, I don't lose or I don't lose any of my cookies. Um, you know, like I said, my main goal in this game, especially when it comes to uh, world exploration, is for me to actually beat all the stages. Uh, three stars before I move on really because yes I can move on and just go on with one star two star it does you know it really doesn't matter but it's just you know it's just a kind of uh, it's just a kind of a guy I am so so yeah I just try to beat everything I'm like trying to be perfect you know <laughs> so here we go already done with half of it um, Right now, no uh, real, you know, no real uh, danger to my team, except for that guy who goes, uh, who makes my strawberry crepe go flying. But you know, uh, latte and pastry licorice are doing work, so this one might be a little bit harder. Hopefully, uh, latte and pastry are able to get rid of them before they can attack. Yeah, and it happened. All right, here we go. Wow, we got some. Uh, we got the uh, guy who sends the yep the snowball a healer as well, uh, but right here is where maybe like you know vampire will be great because it can nuke the enemies. But of course, latte and licorice are able to do that as well. So here we go. Nine twenty four was a nice and easy clear for me. Um, yes, of course my team is uh, kind of strong and. I have promotions that you know some people will not have so I can't really say it was like you know the stage is easy but here we go so I am currently now at 925 924 was a clear and now I was actually just able to get almost a thousand or so crystals uh, from doing that run so if you guys are looking for ways to get crystals I have posted uh, you know things that you can do daily weekly monthly and you know achievements that you do once one time through but you know make sure to watch that video and see all the different ways for you to gain 
crystals. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I hope it was, you know, entertaining and helpful for you guys in some what, uh, some way. And if it was, and if you guys haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, and leave a comment down below on what world you guys are currently in. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.